प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब फॉर मोर वीडियोस थैंक यू In this video we're going to be having a look at two different types of check mates. We're going to look at scholar's mate and legal mate. Legal mate being a little bit more tricky. Maybe you haven't heard of that one. Now scholar's mate is something that every schoolboy knows. It's to do with this square, the Achilles heel of black's position F7. And what white needs to do in order to create scholar's mate is aim at that square with the bishop and the queen. So, for example, E4, opening up the queen, opening up the bishop. And now let's say black responds in kind with e5 all that white needs to do and to create scholar's mate is aim at f7 i call this the archilles heel because it's only defended by one piece the king if you look at the other squares around the black king for example d7 d7 is defended by the knight the bishop the queen and the king so it's obviously not a weak point and scholar's mate is where white attacks this now he can bring the bishop out first or he can bring the queen out first Now this is really something that advanced players should not do because you should not bring your queen out early but at a lower level this checkmate is quite common and let's just see white trying to do it bishop c4 and now for example knight to c6 and here white either brings the queen to f3 or to h5 for example queen h5 two pieces are threatening the archilles heel and if black is asleep and does nothing about that for example by playing knight to f6 The whole point of white's idea is queen takes f7 checkmate and this is the basic version of scholar's mate. Now really the one way to avoid this is one of the most important lessons that you will learn in chess. Let's go back to this moment here when white plays queen to h5. Now one of the most important lessons is whenever your opponent plays a move you should look at the move they played and figure out what they're threatening. Here it should be clear that the queen is aiming at three different areas in your game and only one of them the f7 square is the weakness so if you play a very basic move here like g6 you can block that let's say the queen blocks you know drops back to f3 and again look at your opponent's last move see where it's pointing and here again a good move would be knight to f6 blocking the queen and already white has lost a lot of time you've got knight d4 coming and this really i would say childish method of checkmate should backfire in a number of ways so this is really scholar's mate it's not something we can use to improve our own games really because you don't want to bring your queen out early but it's something that beginners need to be aware of attacking f7 so again if your opponent brings out the queen and the bishop early please have a big warning now what is legal mate this is a much more interesting mate now legal mate occurs also on f7 the archilles heel and this is really another thing we're going to look at in this video legal's mate starts with something like knight to f3 and now let's say knight to c6 and again legal's mate is where white aims for f7 but not in the childish way of bringing the queen out in this way he brings the bishop out you don't bring your queen out early and now there are a number of ways that legal's mate can occur but let's say black plays d6 i don't like this move because it blocks the bishop in white now develops very sensibly by bringing his other knight out knight to c3 and now bishop to g4 and whenever black pins your knight like this you can look out for this legal mate technique now knight takes e5 is a move that often happens in order to try and play legal mates i should mention that this mate legal mate is named after the player legal who supposedly played this idea in 1750 in paris even though that has been disputed but the idea here is to offer your queen and if black ever takes your queen legal's mate is a mate that occurs with a combination of these three pieces two knights and a bishop and again it's the archilles heel which is your target bishop takes f7 check is the idea black only has one square for the king king to e7 and now the other knight flies into the center knight to d5 checkmate did you see a little error though with that se sequence there because in actual fact black has played a horrible move so was white this is checkmate this is a position of legal's mate but it's not done very well here what could black have done well after knight takes e5 instead of grabbing the queen and you should always be aware when there's a strong piece on offer black can actually just go a knight takes knight defending the bishop and black has won two points he's won a piece and this whole point has not worked for white what white should have done was to first of all go h3 
and this either forces the bishop to take the knight when you can bring your queen out early because you've got rid of one of your opponent's good pieces the bishop or after bishop to h5 which is quite a common move but a mistake you can now do the same idea can you see this legal mates can you see this nice idea we pointed out previously remember it's to do with your knights and your bishop knight takes e5 is the move and now again if bishop takes queen we do the same technique it's all about the achilles heel this is what this little lesson is about bishop takes f7 check king e7 the only square and now you bring in another piece with mate knight b5 mate the difference in this case is that after knight takes e5 if black plays knight takes e5 well he's not defending the bishop anymore so you can go queen takes h5 and if knight takes c4 white plays queen to b5 check winning a pawn and that's quite nice from the start of the game now one more version of this legals mate i want to point out extremely quickly is a version where black has actually done it to white so that's after knight to f3 knight to f6 i'm just going to give you a case of what i call the petrov gambit knight takes e5 the normal move being d6 here but quite an interesting gambit is knight to c6 with the idea after white capturing to get very quick and open diagonals for your pieces and this following sequence has occurred in a couple of games d3 bishop c5 bishop g5 do you see a similar pattern here well knight takes e5 but this time it's not the two knights which are going to help but after bishop takes queen bishop takes f2 check you can see that these two pieces are very important but we don't have a knight coming into d4 this time it's slightly different we have instead a bishop coming to g4 with checkmate so this is really the emphasis we've been looking at is on this Archimedes heel on f2 or f7 and these are really basic kind of patterns but they're very important to understand these patterns because when we're going to move through the following videos you're going to build on these ideas and the ideas you see here are going to be shown in other checkmate patterns but in more complex ways and the whole point that i'm trying to get across to you in these videos is you've got to remember the concept which pieces are doing the checkmates which squares are you looking to attack the main thing to remember in this video is the Achilles heel f7 so i hope you enjoyed that video they're going to get a lot tougher now bye for now